Welcome to another segment of Kale Yes. Today I'm going to be showcasing three different recipes. Chicken fajitas, salmon with roasted asparagus and quinoa, and a sausage potato broccoli dish. So let's go ahead and get started. I love making chicken fajitas, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and chop up my peppers. All right, next we're gonna add the chicken. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is just drizzle olive oil over it all. I'm gonna put taco seasoning sprinkled all over it. And then just mix that up. All right, now we're gonna pop this in the oven at 400 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes. And put some of these tortillas into some aluminum foil and then I'll pop those into the oven with about 10 minutes to spare to get them nice and warmed up. If you're ever curious on if your chicken is cooked well enough, temp it out 165 and then it's safe to eat. All right, so we've pulled our fajitas out. I'm gonna go ahead and just give this chicken a chop. Put the chicken down the middle. Cut up some fresh avocado for the side, scoop of sour cream, and you're ready for dinner. Meal number one, chicken fajitas. The next recipe that we're showcasing today is roasted salmon and asparagus and quinoa. The first thing you wanna do is pre-wash your asparagus. With asparagus, you don't actually wanna eat the whole stalk because the bottom tends to be a lot more woodier. So when you take your asparagus, you wanna bend it wherever it snaps, that's where you wanna eat from. So the rest gets thrown away. So I go ahead, put my asparagus on, put my salmon on. Again, dealing with salmon, you wanna make sure you wash your hands in between each time touching it. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and get everything seasoned. I drizzle olive oil over the fish and over the asparagus. I personally like using a Cajun seasoning on my fish, but there's lots of different seasonings out there. Even if you just wanna do a basic salt and pepper, that is fine. Sauce. With this, we're going to throw it in the oven, 400 degrees for about 15 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and get my quinoa started. I love frozen quinoa and frozen grains and the fact that all you have to do is throw it in the microwave and boom, you've got some whole grains ready in a matter of minutes. So the back of this package says to cook it for 5 minutes and just to make sure that the inside is cooked to 165 degrees. So I'm going to go pop this in the microwave now. All right, let's go ahead and check that salmon and see if it's ready. All right, and then we're just going to grab the quinoa out of the microwave. All right, let's go ahead and plate this up. All right, and there you have it. Another balanced meal in under 30 minutes. The next dish we're making is barbecue sausage with roasted potatoes and broccoli. So to get started, we are going to chop up the broccoli. You could also buy frozen broccoli, which would be totally fine as well. And try colored potatoes. Cabeza sausage. So I'm gonna go ahead and season up the vegetables. Put some garlic powder on them. And then I'm gonna put some barbecue sauce on the top of the sausage. A little olive oil on top of the potatoes just so that way they'll crisp up. And this can get thrown in the oven 400 degrees, 25 minutes. Looks good. So I'm going to quick grate up some cheese for the broccoli because our vegetables can taste good. I'm gonna cut about a tablespoon of butter. Alright guys, three meals, 25 minutes. I hope this inspired you to start cooking some more meals at home. If you're wanting to increase your skills in the kitchen, be sure to go to Campus Rec's website under Nutrition, Instructional Kitchen, and sign up to take a class. Also, download McKinley's Wellness app where you can gain more tips and Buddy here can show you the way. Stay tuned.